again. Matthew Clark's goal. Some life and some hope. Cox still going against him in the ruck. Bit of jumper being held. Van Bulo kept going. Maybe that has given them some spring in the step. McLeod and Jones confront each other. They do a little dance as Tawny and Shirley concentrate on the footy. To half forward. Crows have got numbers here. Can Goodwin get on it? No, he can't. Kerr really makes a mistake. And you wouldn't call that one either. Got his man in the end. This is Jones. Now there's a turnover. Ratner can go through the middle again. It's Rutten with that run from behind. Good protection from Tawny. Allows Edwards. Perry's got to be the answer. It's long. He's coming is Perry. Almost. Both waiting, but this is Burton. Selwood. Gross crowd can smell blood. Burton out on the floor. Eight and a half minutes remaining, and it's West Coast by ten. Oh, gee. Should have been a free free kick there. That's twice Burton's just been pushed as he kicked it. So the Eagles, a good break. Fletcher from halfback, Rowan Jones the target, couldn't hold on, judging support, numbers done with the Crows, comes to Paul Pleasure, off to Thompson, who pulls it back to the top of the goal square, Burton this time couldn't hold on, and the numbers with the Eagles, Butler, Cox running hard, he can take a couple of bounces here, just takes the one, feeds it to Braun, who Running very hard from half back, drives it long, deep to the top of the square at the back. Hunter and the ball. Armstrong is brilliantly tackled by John Cox. Armstrong still got it. Check. Chance for Hunter. Feeds it back to Armstrong. Good pressure this from the Crows. Well done, Ben Rutten. Feeds it out to John Cox, and the Crows out of trouble. Gee, they did that well. Umpiring decision not going their way, but they've escaped. They were, if they get up the Crows, that tackle by John Cobb could be the difference. Oh, you can feel the lift right around the stadium. Tyson Edwards, a wonderful season. Sets it up to half forward. For please, you couldn't get there. Chris Judd almost always does. And you can see in his mind there, when he got up, he was just trying to steady things down. They can't have too defensive a frame of mind. They've run well here. Waters from Stemgline. Jones is the target. So mentally the Eagles have to be strong as well, Sauce. They can they can see the finish line now. Let's have a look at this replay. Was it holding the ball? Oh it is, isn't it normally? Judd's uh, just had an ordinary eight touches too. He's been good at these last quarter efforts, hasn't he, in the finals? Boundary throw in CB. Getting in front of Clark, spills to Stengline, brilliantly done, the snap from Butler to the goal square, it's through! Great goal that from Sam Butler! And the West Coast, surely now enough. The margin back out to 16 points, they do have the aid of the breeze, just over seven minutes of actual game time left as we watch this stoppage again. Tried to flick it back, which means you're trying to create which uh, always intrigues me why you don't do it more often, but that is a super snap. But once again, it's a very positive thing CB's trying to do. And, and uh, you've got to remember, Matthew Clark doing all the right work to himself, getting very, very tired. Not too much body contact there, Melvin. It's getting close now for the West Coast Eagles. And there's always stories, isn't there, into grand final week. Waters trying to... Push them away, Tim Gossett. Absolutely gone. Just struggled to even get to the boundary line like a marathon runner, struggling to hit the finish. 16 points the margin. Clark had the centimetres, got the ball down. Cousins again versus Tawny. Fletcher. One more. And they're into the grand final. Embley. Confronted by Matna. Prey in sight. Matna loves it. He's a huge tackler. Hansen again boundary line Well, I know the Eagles have had some great wins because they've won a couple of premierships, but Where they came from at halftime if they managed to win this This would rank I reckon the third best win they've probably ever had in their club's history Obviously the premierships being the first two, but this is this will be a super result if they can get over the line here Riley the halfback Burton Bow doing the heavy work as he so often does Banfield was it high it was 
six and a half minutes and counting. It's been a huge effort by West Coast since half time. They've kicked eight goals, 11 to three goals, three to the Crows. 19 scoring shots to six. Butler just trying to maintain possession there. Made a bit of an error, but oh. Cousins turned it into something great and delivered for Stengline. So Tyson Stengline to have the shot for goal. They've got three players. I mean, obviously they're guns. Cousins, Kerr and Judd, who can all break tackles. And it's amazing what it can do to your, for your side and your forward line where they're able to carry the ball an extra four or five metres. We just saw that then on the lead. Stengline was able to get away from his opponent. As you can see, 20 possessions for Tyson Stengline. Ten goals, two for the year. And that one was too much for him. Back, keep coming back five metres, keep coming five metres, five metres. That'll so just it. flickering for the Crows, but only just with five and a half minutes to go. They've got to get going. McLeod, can he ignite them? Andrew McLeod kicks it out in front of Burton, who marks strongly in front of Glass. Back to Edwards. They're trying to get something going here. Oh, gee, it was a dangerous handball to McLeod who brilliantly got it back to Edwards, but they find themselves in trouble. Van Berlo did well. Off to Burton. They need a mark up forward. Out comes the man in box and he marks 48 from goal. Don't know that he can kick it from there. John Cock is loose, leading into the pocket. He ignores that. He's run from the back pocket. But Nathan Bock going back to perhaps kick a goal as we get the five minute warning. It's only their third mark inside 50 in the second half. Eagles have had 11. I mean, there's a lot you can, a lot of stats you can do about yeah. footy, but if you can take marks in your forward 50, you're going to shots at goal, aren't you? More so than the opposition. Must kick goal this from Nathan Bock from 50. Oh, shanked it. There'll be a contest. There won't be a contest, in fact. Dean Cox will mark uncontested. Out to Kerr. 21 possessions for Daniel Kerr. Yeah, their midfield's been good again. Consistent, haven't they? Got a lot of the ball. And Cox with 26 touches. Oh, I'm staggered. It's such a deep midfield. You've got to throw Stengline, Braun, yeah. Waters, Butler. They've all got over 20 today. Tyson! Tyson! And here's Andrew Embley. Two goals, one. He's played a big role. 22 possessions. And again, they are in absolutely no rush. Stevens and Lynch. A full 360 from Lynch. And to Hanson. Oh, good cover. Yes, sir. And Cox. In a huge paddock. One more will finish them off. Will it be Chris Judd? Good luck. It just <laughs> might be. It just might be Chris Judd. No, he passes it instead. It'll be Rowan Jones, who missed the grand final last year with injury. Missed, I think, five finals over his career for one reason or another, four more injury. And he will be loving this yeah. as Chris Judd. And Matt is as good a taker in the comp. Does what only Chris Judd can do. Oh, he's, he's missed it. It may not matter. 10-19 for the Eagles to 9-8 for the Crows. Well, I know we keep saying it, but 29 shots to 17. The second half has been quite extraordinary, really. And something that every Eagles player, coach, supporter will be very, very proud of this. This is a big one. Bassett under pressure. Oh, good mark. Almost taken there by Hanson Kerr. Ground level, front and centre. Somehow got boot to ball. Emily. He hoists it very, very high into the pocket. Rowan Jones judged there as well. Fist from Matna. Riley, good little tap. Not to doubt it. And the Crows now can get out of trouble. Can they set something up? That's the question. He hits Welsh on the chest as Dowdy. Needs to get on really quickly. Kicks across the ground. Back to Dowdy. Beats it to Shirley. At least they're going up the middle. Thompson. Back to Tawny. Tony kicks it out wide. John Cock trying to provide an option. Van Berlo kick affected in the chest of Bock. I thought it was touched off the boot. But Nathan Bock has, has marked just 25 metres from goal. Let's have a look at the Van Berlo kick. It was pretty ugly but effective. So Nathan Bock can narrow this margin. 
He currently stands at 17. Not nine marks, 13 disposals. Has kicked one goal, one. Nathan Bock must kick this if Adelaide are in with a chance, and he does. Is there time for the Crows? It's slowly a little points, isn't it? I mean, yeah, just watching the last 10 minutes, you'd think the Eagles are going well enough and the, nothing happening for the Crows, but it's, it's, it's a miracle now. But What do you do with this next centre square bounce if you're the Crows? Do you go for it, Melbourne? Oh, yeah, attack? yeah, I certainly have one going 100 mile an hour take a punt. I mean, you've got to kick two goals. You might as well go down by eight from here. One last effort for the Adelaide Crows. They've got to get it out of the middle. The Eagles are all running back into defence. The margin is 11. They need to kick two goals. You can see them at the bottom of screen all heading back to try and shore up the defence. But Kerr winning it out of the middle to half forward. Cousins has got to run onto this from Lynch. He's got Kerr, his mate. Goes to him by hand. Over the top. No to Hanson. And so the Crows live again. Bassett, Edwards. No time to waste. Here it is in the hands of McLeod. He can scream through the middle of Amy Stadium. Try and lift the crowd and lift his team. John Cox coming. Oh. Was it a free kick? No. But the ball is over the boundary line. Great courage from Jones. He is one of six Eagles playing today who missed last year's grand final. He'd love to be there next week. Boundary throw in. Crows need something here. Chance for Goodwin from 40 metres. He pulls it around the body, but it's offline. Then oh. scrapes in for a behind. So it gives possession back to the Eagles. Can't be too long left. Graham kicks it wide and finds Banfield. Banfield, well done by Van Berlo. Judd arrives, but Van Berlo was quick to recover to Edwards. Now John Cock had half forward. John Cock kicks it to Bock and Bock marks in the pocket. Nathan Bock, could he be the hero? He no. doesn't look confident. No. no. That breeze is really not the right. It's oh. a tough kick. He kicked a miracle goal two weeks ago, Malcolm. From at the other end, deep in the right forward pocket. Can he emulate that here? And put the Crows to it in. Four points. Bock comes in. What's he done? He's kicked it. Unbelievable stuff from Nathan Bock. The margin is just four points. Is there time for the Crows? Can they wiggle their way? Four of us sitting here. How many times have you thought Adelaide were going to win early, and how many times in this second half have you thought the, uh, the Eagles were? It's amazing. What an amazing game of football! I just can't believe it. That is a beautiful kick. This is one kick out the centre. Yep. How bad is the Rowan Jones miss from 10 metres just a few moments ago? There is hope for the Adelaide Crows still. Nathan Bock. The unlikely hero. Four points the difference. The Eagles have pushed everyone to the back line. Who's going to get it out of the middle? What a clearance this will be. Which way? Oh, it's a West Coast free. It's a West Coast free kick. And Stenblad to take it. They've peeled off. Fletcher takes the mark. Can go to Hanson. And you'd think it's all over. You would think it's all over. Coast Eagles met almost by silence. Here's the free kick over the head.